Welcome back to the Sly 2 Band of Thieves 100% walkthrough on the PlayStation 3. This is part 20. That computer is part of a control system for the electromagnetic train. By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks, I should be able to reverse their polarity, thereby turning the train into a giant projectile. Without question, its impact on the prison walls should create a hole large enough for Sly to escape through. In this part, in this mission, we're going to see a new thing, which is going to be like something that Benty does all the time in these ah, games. Like and that is hacking. Job. This is the now hacking the of computers. This is how it works. Basically, you control this. <coughs> Sorry, the screen little thing, like a vertical or something, and it shoots down these enemies and gets into ports and opens up, up stuff that you're going to do in the mission. It's basically, this is like the debut, the debut of hacking in this game, and because you're going to use this a lot in the other games as well, as in Sly 3 as well. And I think they're bringing it back for Sly 4, Sly Cooper Thieves in Time as well. So that's pretty cool. And a lot of people hate the hacking in the Sly games, but I actually love it because it's quite lovely and I actually like the music as well. It's like, brings you a different um, feeling. And I like having different feelings when I'm playing different stuff. So I like this. These enemies can be a little bit annoying though, because if they shoot once, they're going to continue shooting at you and can be a little bit different, uh, difficult getting away from them. And these corners are a little bit different, uh, difficult as well, because you kind of have to stand in an embarrassing and difficult position to shoot them in a safe moment, safe place. I don't know what I'm talking about, but still, safe place. So yeah, we got six computers to hack to get to change the polarity of the trains, and then at the end make them go into the prison walls. You've got six of the computers to hack, and this is the third computer. So it's not going to take that much time, if that's what you're wondering about, but still have a good time watching it and I actually think I failed I think I failed like at one computer or something I can't really remember that well but I think I did <coughs> and my voice is going out which is really annoying because after I, I've been on my trip I've been having like sickness but it's normal to get sicknesses with being in other countries which I've been having so that's a little bit annoying for me because I've been having like really, really pains in my stomach and I've been having fever and my throat has been going like crazy, crazy. So that's just annoying when you're there to have a good time and then you get sick. But enough talking about my sicknesses, which I always talk about because it seems like I'm sick all the time. But. This is the fourth computer that we're hacking, so that's great. Six computers to hack, and this is the fourth one. It's going great. And again, this is to change the polarity of the trains on five of the computers, and then the last one is to make um, um, the train go into the prison walls. If you don't understand what the polarity of the trains is, basically changing the speed and making it go faster so we can get it to crash into the prison walls to free Sly and this is all to free Sly because we need Sly so that's why we're doing this and that's the fourth computer we're going to do the fifth one when we get to that but basically as you probably have noticed we haven't done the group battle hunting we're going to do that when I get Sly and that was close. I'm going to do that when I get started. Therefore, I'm going to do the clue battle hunting for episode 4 in the next part. These orange thingies are coming against me here. 
are really difficult to take out. Not like super difficult, but they it takes some time to take them out and you got two of them coming at you at the same time. And they take a bit of time to take out and they're quite strong and they keep shooting. So they so this computer can be quite hard. This is probably the hardest computer in this mission. So be careful when you're doing this. Because you really don't want to die. I can't remember if I died or not, but it seems like I will survive. I will survive. But yeah. Hopefully I survive though. Because I don't want to see me fail, which I do all the time. I only got two of those uh, balls there left. But here they keep ganging up on me, which is quite dangerous. And I got very little health left. So don't die. Don't die. Take it down, take it. Yay, I did it! That is the fifth computer. That's the yes, fifth computer, the and that's that only one speed. more. So we've now, changed the speed the of the trains. The now it's the last. A computer here to make the train go into the prison walls. I think this computer isn't that. It's like it's not. It's not hard, but it's not easy either. So I don't know. It's different. But yeah, you have to take down these walls, and then you have to get those doors away by going into these ports two of them. So it's not really that hard, really. You'll be alright. But I lost half of my health though. What a beautiful trajectory. Oh, and their job completed. Now we're going to go into the mission where we save Fly from the prison, from Cantasa, basically. So we're going to make our way over there right now. And I don't like going over this bridge because there's always enemies there. And you have to be a little bit careful because enemies come out of the statues in this episode as well. Which is damn annoying because you're trying to be careful and you're trying to be like really quiet and sneaking. But then, enemy comes out of the statue and that just destroys the whole thing. But let's go into the mission. All the guards along the prison wall are outfitted with a motion tracking device. There's no way for Sly to escape. Unless I take those guys out with my RC chopper. But now you just have to take out all seven of the guards that are along the prison walls. So, so I can get out. I can see a clue bottle. Yeah, this is really easy, but for s when I was recording this, I was really not paying attention to to the game. So that's why I'm losing health, if you're wondering. So, a tip for you there, if you're playing a game, look at the game when you're playing, not look at something else. Which really will help you. So I'm nearly dying here as you can see because I'm not paying attention. Sly, can you read me? How I missed that sensuous voice of yours. Save the jocular comments for later. Do you see that hook above the train? Yeah. It's your only means of escape. Jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Then swing on to the back of the train. I've already established a safe house and downloaded its GPS coordinates into your binocucom. We'll rendezvous there. Wow, you've really thought of everything. Don't I always? Yeah, you do. Thanks for busting me out. Oh, well, you know the old saying, if you can't count on a friend to bust you out of jail, what kind of a friend are they? Truer words were never said, wizard. But now we can use the hook to get out of the prison as Sly. I really like those cutscenes when they talk like that. It's just interesting, I just like it. 
but this is really easy you just make a way to the safe house and you're done basically so that's basically the end of part 20 hope you will join me in part 21 when we go clue bottle hunting see ya Okay, here's the situation. I've done some deep database crunching and figured out that Murray is doing time in cell block D. Getting him out is going to be tough. As you know, he's not very light on his feet. First, we'll need to get Murray into an isolation cell away from the other inmates. Second, I'll need you to get a sample of the Contessa's encryption algorithm. Don't worry, I'll explain later. Third, you'll need to pickpocket a few keys from the Contessa, but watch out for her pack of bodyguards. And fourth, you'll have to deactivate her giant attack robot. No, really, Sly, I'm serious. The Contessa has a giant attack robot. It just looks like a water tower. Now, once you've pulled off all these jobs, we'll be ready to make a play for the big guy. <laughs>